Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? February 14th is my grandmother's birthday. It was the day she was born back in 1916. February 14th is the anniversary of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. It's like a month and a week shy of the first day of spring. Here are some valentines. Stop clowning! Be my valentine! He's playing a little squeeze box, which is nice. But he's a clown, which is terrifying. I actually wish this one said, quit clowning. Quit dressing up as a clown. Be my valentine. This one makes me uncomfortable. Nobody asked me. <laughs> this one's a good one. Valentine. Be mine. I don't know how clear it is, but this is a prescription bottle that says, need a little spooning. Why a spoon and a prescription bottle are hanging out side by side, I'm not really sure about. Actually, it looks like it's cough syrup, which you would take with a spoon. Need a little spooning? <laughs> Spoon's wearing a bow tie and ballet slippers, and the prescription bottle seems to have mascara on and, like, house slippers. That's the thing about Valentine's Day. Doesn't matter who you love. My personal fave. It's this happy cowboy. I need a good guy for my valentine. You hear me, universe? Right, girls? Oops. Be my valentine. Well, would you? And now... Helpful hot dish hints. If you're like me, you're not a total cynic, and you like candy. Much like the day after Halloween, the day after Valentine's Day, you can get so much candy are so cheap. Go to the convenience store or the grocery store or the shop down the street or the mom and pop in your old hometown. Um, the mom and pop store. Maybe you can go see your own mom and pop. You can still see the clearance sticker. That's not romance to most people. But it's like two dollars for a dozen chocolate roses. You need a little spooning.